What's going on fellas? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. Today we're in Black Ops 4 Zombies, the map Blood of the Dead, and I'm going to teach you guys how to double pack a punch. Maybe you find yourselves struggling to get to higher rounds. This is going to be the video for you. I'm going to cover everything you need to know outside of how to turn on power. It's pretty obvious there's two switches on this map. If you've gotten that far, then this is going to take you the rest of the way. So right now, down in the comment section below, let me know what rank you currently are in Zombies. And if you haven't subscribed already, feel free, ring those bells, and let's go ahead and get started. We're going to need to build the shield. The shield is the most important part of this, and it's key to unlocking Pack-A-Punch. So in order to build the shield, we're going to start in the D-Dock area, bridging into the library, and we're going to see a power panel. On this power panel, it's one of three locations. Every one of these parts is going to have three locations. And I'm going to show you what I mean. We have an essence that we need to collect, and on three of these power panels, it will be located on one of them. We're going to pick that up and add that to our inventory. It's going to show up in the lower right hand corner when you pull up your menu. And I'm going to zoom in on that so you know what I'm talking about. And that's how you know you're collecting these parts. That's our inventory that we can keep looking at. So just note that. And the third location for this essence part, which is part number one, is going to be right here. At the end of the hallway on this power box in Michigan Avenue, you'll find the third location. Now, the second part is going to be the cover to the shield. And the first location for this is in the Citadel Tunnels, right in this open area, this archway, next to the window at the very bottom. You can collect it there. And then as we go up the stairs, we'll go to our second location here for if in case it's not there. But as we make our way up along the second set of metal panels, it'll be laying right here. And at the very top of the Citadel Tunnels is where we'll find the third location for this cover for the shield. And it's always going to be in these three locations. And in case it's not there, just keep checking the other spots and you'll eventually come across it. But right here at the top is the third location for the cover part of the shield. Now when you talk about the Warden's Key, you need to spawn in a Brutus. And the first way you can do that is by turning on the second set of power. So by doing that, it'll spawn in a Brutus, and you can take him down, and he will drop a Warden's Key. This key you'll be able to pick up, and it'll be the third part that'll allow you to build the shield. I want to make a side note here in the video. Something I did notice as I'm playing in Custom Mutations and in Classic Mode, it seems like there's a lot of Hellhounds, and the rate at which they come at you sometimes is quite detrimental to your health. I don't know if we'll be seeing a nerf. Definitely not a buff coming up for that, but... This is how you get the Warden's Key. This key does unlock other things in the map that are going to be involved with other Easter eggs. So more to come on that. But as we enter the dock area, right outside of here is where we can build the shield. So we're going to go ahead and do that because we're going to need to pick up one and it's going to be used to unlock Pack-A-Punch. Now I'm going to show you how to do this. There's a little bit of a trick to it, but it's not that complicated. Pulling out your shield is your L1. It's not listed on your HUD. I assume they think that would be confusing, but that's how you do it. And when you actually shoot with the R trigger, it pulls out the key and it's trying to collect a soul. And we need to collect five souls from zombies. And you can get in trouble right here. There can be zombies that can come from the left and right of you when you're not looking and you can get hit. So kind of pay attention to what you're doing. And you don't have to necessarily charge it on the roof right here, but it's a lot easier to do. You need to charge this so that way your shield is full so it can actually push out a blast. But once you've got five souls and you know you have five souls collected, you're ready for the blast. What you got to do is come up to this power panel and perform a blast. If you don't get this right away, you will have to charge up another five souls, but you perform a blast on this power panel and you only have to do this once and then you have Pack-A-Punch unlocked. Pack-A-Punch does move. It does, there's one other location that it does go. I'm going to show you that location but you only have to perform this one time with your shield to actually unlock it. Then you're good to go. You can double pack a punch as much as you want. Where the other power panel location is, that's where pack a punch does go. So let's talk about double pack a punch now. There's four module effects. Some are returning and there is one new one, but I wanna take a look at some gameplay here, show you guys hard gameplay of all of them. And we'll decide right after this little bit of gameplay which one is the best? And you too can let me know down in the comment section, along with what your current rank is in Black Ops 4 Zombies, which effect you like the most. Let's go ahead and check out the gameplay. Who 
else wants to try wiping smile off Nikolai's face? Yeah, yeah, very scary. Don't do that. <laughs> You'll not take my blood, I take yours. <laughs> or whatever this... So we got Firebomb, Cryo Freeze, Brain Rot, and Kilowatt. And out of all of those, from what I saw with the gameplay that I was putting forth, I think Firebomb has the best bang for your buck. Unfortunately, Kilowatt, which is Deadwire, one of my favorites from Black Ops 3 Zombies, just isn't performing like I thought it would. It really only shocks five zombies at a time. But, and, and it does kill a mass crowd, but you can't activate it as frequently as I wanted. So I do feel that the mass amount of damage that you can output comes from Firebomb. And that's going to be the double pack of punch I rock on 90% of all my weapons moving forward here in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Let me know what you guys thought of this and your current rank down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Violent out!